Good evening everyone and a very happy Homebrew Wednesday to you. Cheers. Mm. That is the um, St. Peter's Gold Nail toucan kit that I kegged over three months ago now. It's okay, it's mellowing a bit now. It was very, very ugh, horribly bitter at first. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the way I've brewed it. I think it's just not quite to my taste. Um, I was no, I wasn't expecting the gold nail to be as bitter as that. Um, my brother actually tried some, and he said he's he's had the gold nail in the bottles, and it tastes pretty much exactly the same. So I only used half the hop sachet. Thank God I didn't use it all, or I'll, well, who knows what might have happened. Probably would have ended up pouring it down the sink, or donating it to someone, of course. Again, I seem to start most of my videos with this but I just want to apologise for the lack of videos and um, I've been decorating in my house uh, which has taken forever I had to put in new plug sockets and um, steam two layers of wallpaper which had been painted on twice um, off the walls new carpet new radiator new curtain pop pretty much everything <laughs> so it's taken bloody ages but it's all finished, we moved back in there yesterday, so, yes, now more time to concentrate on my favourite hobby. Um, also, I'm hoping the light situation is a bit better, I've got this lovely lamp here, I'm not sure if that's in shot or not, um, yeah, so hopefully that will uh, make things a little bit brighter until I can get my proper strobe lights fitted, which hopefully I'll get done fairly soon. Anyway, boring stuff out of the way, what have I been up to brewing wise? Well, have actually been doing a few things, so let me give you a little look. <coughs> this is my turbo cider, which has got 25 grams of citrops now in it. Um, that is fermenting away. Well, sorry, that is currently dry hopping. Uh, I had a couple of points left. I think the final gravity was 1.004. So I might have a couple of points to go, but it's probably finished now as there's not really any airlock activity that I can see. Um, really looking forward to trying that. Big shout out to Brewmaster Ben for posting all those videos, how to do it. Um, I will watch the back sweetening one probably at the weekend so then I know what I'm going to be doing. Because I think I've found with ciders that it's nice to try and do it as natural as possible. They do taste very bitter, so if you sweeten it up a bit. Will it taste a bit better? I know you real cider enthusiasts out there will be not very happy with that, but I'm sorry. Next up then, we have got a Beaverdale Shiraz kit. Bit of an angry fermentation as you can see, it's bloody blasted into the airlock. It seems to always do that with the bloody Beaverdale. You can see there's still a, bit, a fair bit of airlock activity as well. It's been in there a week or so now, but still going strong. It's good. 20, what's the temperature in there? No, it's dropped a bit now, but it was around 20 degrees earlier, so oh, well, it's fine. It should be okay. I need to look at to get into my uh, fridge freezer converted into a uh, temperature regulated fermenting thing at some point, but again, it's all money, isn't it? Right, next up, not doing a lot at the moment, which is a bit disappointing, is a lemonade attempt. I've got bits of lemon in there that I've left in. 15 lemon juice, um, yeast nutrients, sugar and wine yeast in there. It's not doing a lot. I might have to bring that inside just to warm it up a bit to keep the temperature high to get it going but I'll come back and see what that's doing tomorrow. It's been only been there for a couple of days so we'll see what happens. Uh, next one is Young's Risling White Wine. I'm pretty sure that's done. I'll need to bottle that at the weekend. Um, Oh, sorry, no, I need to start the clearing process soon. I'll probably start that tomorrow. Degas it, clear it down, and then bottle that bad boy as well. So, that's what I've been doing wine cider lemonade. What have I been doing beer wise? Which, as we know, that's really what it's all about, gents, isn't it? This is just fun experiments. It's all about the beer. Well, excuse the mess. I have bottled. My Santa's Winter Warmer Christmas beer it's with all the red tops. There's half a crate under there as well. Um, 
so that's conditioning I'm not sure how much of that will actually last till Christmas because it's so good at the bottle that um, I tend to drink it rather quickly the gluten free beer is next to it um, yeah I tried that it's not tasting great at the moment it might need a bit more a while to um, secondary ferment because there's not a lot of carbonation at all so we'll see what happens with that one um, other than that really I'm, I'm a bit <laughs> a bit thin on supplies with the rest of it I've got some Tom, a few Tom Caxon lagers a few summer ales and that's it and then I'm out so yeah. a little bit sad uh, so I might have to get a kit of the weekend and whack that on and get it on the go but most importantly I'm really excited about let me just grab the box is get out of the way of it the moorland old speckle hen can you see what that says that's right kids all grain recipe oh yes I'm gonna take the plunge this is from my local homebrew shop he lovingly makes these up um, got some instructions it hasn't got the actual recipe but I believe he has the recipes for the actual kits on his website so I'll look at that at some point so we've got secondary grain mix that's all the specialty grains main boil hops a little bit of Irish moss uh, Munton's active brewing yeast late boil hops which I believe you add those in at 10 minutes but I will double check um, the recipes from Graham Wheeler's brewing beers like those you buy book so I'm pretty sure it's 10 minutes I think again it's probably in there brewing sugar you stick a bit of brewing sugar in um, I was surprised at that because I thought all grain was all grain See, it was all grain and no sugar but I suppose it's probably what only 250 in there grams maybe so it's not a huge amount and then of course I can do this one handed you got yeah main grain bag in there um, as you know well you probably know ok that's it well then to cut back to myself ok so that's it folks I'm finally going for the plunge and going to try all grain yes <laughs> um, a couple of problems well not problems but things um, that I'll have to work my way around um, I don't have a mash tun at the moment um, I have reliably been informed though that you can um, use the Electrim electric boiler as a mash tun obviously it's not going to be as well insulated so you're not going to get as good efficiency as you would do from a separate mash tun but I can probably still do the boil in a bag um, style you know brewing with that pretty easily and um, the only thing I'll be careful of, there's no false bottom to it, so I'd be a bit worried about the bag getting caught in the element um, and burning. So if anyone knows of any videos where you can see someone doing all grain using an electric boiler, can you please let me know. Um, so I can just have a quick look and see how they get around that problem. That would be great. Thank you. And the second problem is I don't have a water chiller. However, someone, and I'm really sorry, I can't remember your name right now, it's been weeks since I've looked at my YouTube account, so um, I will post your name up here now. Thank you very much. I do apologise, but I'm terrible with names. Um, told me that Gash Slug has a method where he uses just ice blocks, they said, to cool his wart down rather than using a wart chiller. I probably will get wart chiller eventually, but I want to have a quick go at all grain first. See if I like it. If I, it turns out it's too much of a palaver, I won't bother, but you know. You've all got to start somewhere, right? So it makes sense to start now before I buy loads of all the equipment and realise that I can't be bothered. So, he just uses, basically gets ice cream tubs, fills them full with water, freezes that, and gets these massive chunks of ice and just drops them in the water to cool it down. Seems to work fine, but he said he's never had any problems with infection or anything like that. So, I'll give that a go and see what happens. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping to do it this weekend. But don't be surprised, you know what I'm like, if I come round next Wednesday and say, oh, I didn't have time to do it this weekend. But 
I'm going to try and put aside four hours or so to, to do it. Also probably a little bit more research I need to do this week as well just to make sure I'm fully prepared because you know, and the kit's fairly cheap, that, that big box was only 20 quid, so I thought that was pretty reasonable really, but at the same time, um, I don't want to waste it, and I don't want my first all grain brew to be completely crap, because I'll be really disappointed. So, um, in terms of mash tons, they are bloody expensive, I could probably have a go at making my own, I know there's a few videos out there which I will have a look at, but again, I'll just have a go first of all, this way and see what happens. Um, so that's it from me, I will let you guys get going, um, thank you to all my new subscribers um, and obviously to the old ones who keep uh, keep sticking with me, very much appreciated, um, I hope you're having a great every Wednesday and I shall um, need to catch up on some of your guys' videos as well, I'm a bit behind on that, so uh, I'm going to love you and leave you, I'm going to finish this beer and watch some homebrew videos, so cheers everyone.